Good evening. Um, welcome to another Thursday Night Live. Um, let's bring in the guys and girls. Uh, so looking after you this evening and helping me out, we have the Wood Jedi himself, Mr. Wayne Woodtowner, uh, Huey and Kez from Spirit and Bear. They're going to be looking after you and letting me know what's in the chat. Now, I'm not expecting many in tonight. Um, I know that Chestnut are on and I know who I'd rather be watching, not me. <laughs> but there we go. So let's pop these guys in the background. Um, I don't know if he's in the chat yet. I've had a quick scroll through. There he is. The birthday boy's just turned in. Um, happy birthday, Doug Miller. Um, many happy returns for today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Doug. And what are we going to do today? So we've got a project tonight that my dad's been asking me to do for ages. Um that isn't going to take me that long to do. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, so I thought, while we're doing that, I've got some other blanks that have been in the workshop for a while that have been part-turned, or I did one, did the top of it, didn't like it. So we're going to change it. Um, so we're going to look at different ways of enhancing rims of bowls, um, whether that be inserting bits into the rim. Um, I was going to do some resin, but I've run out. So these are the ends of shotgun cartridges we're going to pop them into a bowl um we're going to use some crackle paint on a platter and um we're going to look at some stenciling now i can't make my mind up roses and butterflies well because the missus dragged me out this morning do we go christmas <laughs> <laughs> i can't make my mind up yet um but we're going to do some stenciling first so I better hurry up. Let's go over to the lathe. <coughs> On the lathe, we've got a piece of elm. Um, this one appeared in a live a few weeks ago, and it's the one that I coloured uh, with the red um, rainbow paints from Chestnut. Didn't like it. Um, so we're going to put some stenciling on this one. So what I've done is I've just coated it with... Uh, this is a black spray paint. Um, it's not ebonizing lacquer. It's uh, from Cobra. It's a low pressure, um, nice dirt, cheap. I'm going to do that with some Joe Sonia's. Now, what do people want to see? Do they want to see roses and butterfly or do they want to see Christmas? Start voting now. Yeah, vote now. <laughs> roses and butterflies. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, I'm torn. I'm torn. I want to see Christmas starting, but on the other hand, I think I'd like to see roses and butterflies too. Dear yeah, Vaughty, you said I, not I, I, Christmas. I, 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 I not thought Christmas. we thought the roses on the black. Okay, uh, Mike, roses you said roses, roses and Christmas. John <laughs> Scarborough said butterflies. <laughs> Ruben has said Christmas roses. Andy said Christmas. <laughs> Christmas roses and that, that poinsettia stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it is, mate. Let's let's do some roses and some butterflies. <laughs> now these these are dirt cheap stencils. I've never used them before, as you can see. Um, I think they cost. I think they were well dirt cheap. I think they were a wish. So um, we'll see what they're like. So I'm just gonna use some low tack tape just to pop them into place, and we'll um. Start. Can you see that all right? Yeah. 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 Lovely, yeah. mate. So what I've got is I've got some of the Joe Sonia iridescent paints. Um, I've got some flow medium. And so I know which one's which. I wrote on the pots. Um, let's go for some green. Now, you would have seen Wayne demonstrate these. He does it much better than I do. Um, He's had more practice, mate. Yeah, you need a very, very, very little of these paints. And all I'm doing is just dabbing over the stencil. Still moving. Still moving. I'll paint the hands, I'll paint the hands. Do you guys want to let me know who's in? Sounds like a plan. 
Are you doing it, Wayne? Cast yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Right. Okay, the first one that I see is Bob Nye. Uh, we've got Andy H for turning, Dave Audi, uh, Mike U, James Crawford, Door 60, Tony Smith, Ruben Woodcraft, uh, The Birthday Boy, uh, John Scarborough, Brian Zinn, Hartwood Turnin, uh, Bob hey. Dolman, uh, Your Dad's in, Keith, that okay. is. <laughs> um, Kez and Phil Evening Oh, are they here as well? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're here as well <laughs> <Shoot> <laughs> in as well <laughs> uh, Bob Lapsley Come on, stream, go down, go down, go down um, Billy Woodworks, that's Chris, I think, isn't it? Yeah. And RPM Woodworks as well. RPM um, JP's in. Hiya, JP. Hiya, JP. Jimmy! <laughs> RPM Woodworks, or should just said him. And that's if us Jamie for the moment. Come in, one of you boys can shoot him the link. I know he likes talking about rims. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. dear. That's a <laughs> dangerous path to be treading this early. <laughs> and, and pinned to the top of the chart is um, Scott's Buy Me a Coffee. If you want to go across and help support his channel. Oh, that's looking neat. Yeah, Scott. that is looking nice. Cool. Where do you get them stencils from? Wish. John Scarborough is asking a question. Is there a technique to stop the paint from creeping that's going underneath the stencil? Um, I don't know is the honest answer tonight. What you can do what, what you can do, John, is actually cut the stencils out rather than leaving them all on the sheet. You can cut the stencils out individually, then tape all around the outside of the stencil. That does help. Also, uh, I'd imagine if you're putting very little on the brush, like uh, like Scott's doing, it's almost a dry brush technique. How much does that look? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Another another technique you can use is to use some um, low tack um, spray adhesive on the back of the stencil, and that will stick it down properly. Ah, good point. Or double sided sticky tape. Or double sided <laughs> sticky tape. But then you've got to cut out all the bits. Yeah, that's, you the, have. that's the Blue Peter moment. Yeah. Um, JP's got a question for you as well, Scott. He <laughs> says, um, Should he join and make you regret making that remark? Laugh out loud. Oh, that sounds like a plan. Do you know what? I, don't send care I made a laugh today. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't sent him the link, but I can do. Go yeah, on, I'm send him the this. link. Let's get him in here. I, I didn't know if you'd done it already. So let's let's take the abuse. Uh, Where's Jimmy? There he is. Oh, you um, <laughs> both of us doing it at the same time. Uh, they're all the same shape. No, oh, that's a long link. And say best you do it because this has worked out massive, but I'll try it. I don't know well, if that's right. It. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Bombarding with it. Uh, where's my little friend? And JP and JP's asking, what's happened to Phil's voice? Did gra did Kez grab hold of his down belows? <laughs> <laughs> Not recently. Not recently. <laughs> Hi, Wayne B and Valerie. Evening. Evening, Wayne. Hold it, Scotty. Terry, seeing, Terry Hooper saying that rose looks great. In the evening, Terry. Evening, Terry. Yeah, these were dirt cheap off Wish. I mean, they were like 99p. Um, the Christmas one. 
Yeah, the Christmas one. Jamie, I'll let you in in a minute. Let me just finish this. Um, the Christmas ones, I got a pack of probably 30. Um, where's the red gum? 30 or so different stencils. Hey, help. <laughs> yeah, I was holding that. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> I'll get the red off the floor. Uh, Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben, did you say? Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben, flower pot men. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Got it. Nothing is. Weed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we better get you home. You sound like you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you too many <laughs> I forgot to get mine will, will anybody notice if it comes back and I've got a pint in my hand <laughs> <laughs> mate get one it's first year <laughs> mate um, yeah, Scott I do have to <laughs> you do have I do, to I do have to ask mate um, yes mate those trousers, have you uh, have you skinned a Frisian or a Hereford this week or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the army now, mate. <laughs> right. Terry, Terry Hoop is asking, um, is Wish safe? I have heard some people don't get their order. So I've got I've always had an all got my orders from Wish. Some I have, yeah, some fact, I haven't. In fact, the, the last the last time I ordered something from Wish, which was my um, it was a set of six airbrushes, I got two, two sets that is. Two sets, yeah. That's so cool. I, I had a uh, I bought a um, it was a fifty piece drill set from Wish, uh, and I thought, well, that's not bad for a, a couple of quid. And uh, when it turned up, they were miniature sized drill bits, like Dremel sized. <laughs> uh, yeah, there were, there were two, 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 two mil ones, uh, Jimmy. Yeah, something like that, and then, and then I realised that uh, that's actually not a bad thing because I do scroll soaring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. So as Wayne says, what you can do is cut the sheets up, um, and because I've got wet paint on the flowers, I've just cut some butterflies out, and I'll go and wish. No, you some. can get so, you, you can get some stencils. And I'm sure Martin Martin Saban Smith sells them. You can get some stencils that you can actually do an inside profile and an outside profile, certainly with the stencils that he sells. They're a hell of a lot more expensive than Wish, mind. Yeah. yeah. I actually well, got a set. He, 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 before he uh, brought them out to sell, he he sent a few people um, a set to, to try them to see what they were like, and I was lucky enough to get a set. Uh, uh, from, uh, you, you have to be careful with that right wing, Scott, because you've got yeah. a bit of tape going over it. Yeah. And Mike, you was just put in the jump. chat that Hobbycraft, uh, Hobbycraft do good stencils as well. So okay, cool. certainly worth looking. I've in never, there. Uh, never, never been able to find any in Hobby Hobbycraft. Uh, ours is quite good. I, I go probably about once a month. I go to a Hobbycraft over by us, and it's uh, the trouble is that that's another place. It's a bit like Axminster. You come out going, "Oh, I've got loads of ideas," and then the missus is going, "Don't spend that money." <laughs> See if we go to Hobbycraft, it's normally for my good lady. For a card yeah, win Win is um Win's put in and said alternatively, you can have a wife with a, a cry cut and ask nicely. Funnily enough, I've got one of them. Fun <laughs> funnily enough, I do have a cry cut. I don't use it very much, not yet, but I will do. I've got the brother version, the scan and cut. And if because you then, then, off, then, then you can actually do it on um, you can do it on low tack A4 labels, yeah. and then peel them off and stick them on the piece, ah. yeah. which solves the problem of the paint bleeding. Yeah. See, I've I've done a couple with uh, the the crycut ones. Um, my my sister did me before I bought mine. She did me some of my logo uh, on vinyl. And they're absolutely fantastic when you do the salt water etching. You put yeah. that on. If you put it on a piece of metal, warm the piece of metal slightly after you put it on. Uh, honestly, it's, it sticks like the proverbial. And then, of course, once you go to take it off, it's give you a really nice uh, crisp edge on the etching. So, yeah, they've been fantastic for that. So I can imagine they make great stencils. 
Wayne said, Valerie has a cry cut and he has a crew cut. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right in thinking you can do uh, vinyl lettering with a cry cut as well? Yeah. So I've got a question for the chat, right? Scott has probably got multiple hidden compartments hidden around his workshop. What do you think are in said compartments? <laughs> you really want to know? <laughs> There's lots of hidey holes in this workshop. Um, Jaffa cakes is probably one answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't we know are... about what's in them, but I know, I know what's on them. <laughs> <laughs> L- lots of labels. That's what's on them. Not the yeah. secret. Why not the secret ones? Mike, we are. Asked... What tape are you using? I have found the light tapes lift the black paint. So this is a dirt, silly cheap tape off eBay. Um, I think it's like 99p a roll. Um, but as long as your paint is well dry, um, I am being careful with this because obviously I only painted it this afternoon. Um, but as long as your paint is dry is, and it's low with- tack... With some right. with with some paints, you don't have to have a black background. You can actually put it straight onto the wood, or you can use a wood stain rather than paint. Joe, oh, Sonia yeah. actually do background colours as well. Mike, I've had uh, some quite good uh, yeah. results. Uh, an- another idea, another paint. idea, which another idea with uh, the stencils which jane has just said to us you can actually instead of using the the paints like uh, scott is here you can actually put size on and use gold leaf mm. there you go Ooh. i've got a question for wayne who's jane only knowing alan <laughs> oh. <laughs> right i just need to get another paintbrush alan yeah. J- Jamie's, Jamie's just said, who's this Jane person? I thought it was Alan. <laughs> um, Can't repeat what she said on air. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to repeat what she said on air. To you, Jamie. <laughs> was the second word off? <laughs> yeah, the second word was off and the first word began with F. Oh, right. <laughs> She's not even going to let him have a choice. We asked 100 people what Terry's in Scott's ask, drawers. T- Terry's <laughs> asking, um, are the paints Joe Sonia's iridescent? These yeah. ones are that Scott's using, but they do a full range of, of paints. They do lots of different acrylics. They do some uh, metal uh, yeah, paints yeah, as well. Metal ones. These are not metal reactive, by the way. They're, they're just metal coloured. Yeah. I actually got I actually got a video called Bubbles, which I used the metal um, the metal coloured ones. Like I do rose gold and normal gold, white gold, and um, all different kind of colours. Barry's just come in. Bronze, Even Barry, and the bronze Hi, Barry. and all that kind of stuff. Hello, Barry. Hi, Barry. Hi, Barry. Wayne said that's Jamie's middle name anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> the F word. Ah. <laughs> so I've I've managed to keep the pots so I know what they're in. I ain't got a clue which paintbrush I've used with which now. Well, I'll just give it a wipe with some tissue. It's fine. Yeah. Can't see it from my ass, Wayne. It's art. I did it on purpose, honest. That's All right, Banksy, get on with it. Bam, 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 bam. Red, no, we've got red on the roses. We'll sell one. Terry wants to know if, if you've forgotten email re elephant. 
Yes, mate. I will do it after the live. I will do it That's straight what you said after last the week. live. No, I will do it. Before <laughs> I even talk to the boys tonight, I will do it. Terry, he will do it after the live. The boys will make me. He didn't we see a wood live. He told us last week he was going to ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you and your wooden spoon, Jamie. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have told you a club, but I'm not going to be there on Sunday. I've got to uh, go and visit a certain young lady and uh, Lionel's wire, in. Wire our workshop. Hi, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. Evening, Lionel. She can get out there and play with her squirrel saw and her lathe and. Who oh, were, uh, Mrs. Uh, Regin Bridge. Peter Corcoran's in as well. Hi, Pete. How are you doing? Wooden shovel. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie and his wooden shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Huey, Huey and his silver spoon. <laughs> hey, oh, he ain't got no silver spoon. <laughs> if this thing is like this now, what's it be like when the Yorkshire grit comes out a bit later? I know, oh, right? Oh, I can just imagine. I vote Kez to sing. It's not a chance. <laughs> can I type it? <laughs> oh, I second that motion. <laughs> I don't know the word. Well, I need, I need to find moment. wacky so we can carry it over. <laughs> <coughs> I don't want that one anymore. Don't pay any more, Mrs. Moore. <laughs> so who was we'll mad when you saw get, the new uh, name from Sam Moore? We, we could always get Hugh Verotti to do it. I can't. I'm under official license to only for only uh, Wayne's merchandise oh, for, now. And all and ice cream. Yeah, all <laughs> Clasperonis from now on. <laughs> He's under license to Clasperoni. Yeah, I'm under license to Clasperoni. Oh, give it some more. <laughs> Delicious pizza. <laughs> it's Clasperonis. <laughs> Give some to me. That one. You know what I mean? You know the one. Delicious pizza. <laughs> Pepperoni. <laughs> oh, dear. You are nuts. I'm not From oh, Jennifer's in. Good evening, Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, Hello, Jen. To come into my lives. It must be the real Jennifer as well. Because, she, yeah, straight away she knew who it was. It was us like. <laughs> no, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> so next week uh my thursday night live we are going to be looking um at some pens made from blanks that jennifer sent me spoiled spoiled rotten you ask up spoiled rotten that's what that's why we call him scottolini spoiled scotton <laughs> 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 Oh, you want one more there, or do you reckon leave it? Yeah, one more. In there. One more. You got to balance that piece out now. Little one. A, what? One of these? That's or what one she did. Yeah, have one of these. <laughs> <laughs> the side, yeah. the sideways on one. In the words of status quo, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> now I know the words to that. <laughs> Painting all over the bowl. <laughs> and I like it, I like it. <laughs> and he no. painted little butterflies on his black tap bowl. We 
can hear you whistling. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get Alexa to play it later now because it'll be in my head. Right. What colour are we going to do the body? Let's go whatever colour this is. Sky blue pink. With yellow dots. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny. Yellow yeah, poco yeah, bikini. That's got war to the. <laughs> what do we think of that? Hey. Yeah, very good, right, let's. Um... Oh, I really like them rose stencils. Pretty cool. I have an idea. Let's throw this over here. Sorry, you are, yeah. you ain't through a you rose on a bowl. Yeah. Yep. And I said, when I say that to Philly, does a runner? <laughs> <laughs> when I say I've got an idea, the wife normally says, put the wallet away. You ain't got any money. You've got ideas, but no money. I go, okay. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not that brave. <laughs> Tidy that middle bit up, but what we'll do for a minute, we'll pop this off to the side. That can dry, and we can start doing another technique, and then we can come back to it. And he painted a Wait, rose. Terry's on having to leave. Oh. He says he'll catch up tomorrow. See you later, Terry. Easy, Terry. Catch you later, Terry. Oh. What we've got now um, on the back is a really pretty bit of sporty beach. That is nice. However. Yeah, there's a reason I painted it, Jamie. If we put it this way round, it has been riddled with our delightful little friends. Actually, what am I putting on the lathe? I want to put it down there. The woodworm! Um, I don't know if you can see all the... Wood, 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 woodworm pole. So... <laughs> You know, you can keep going and keep going until you get to wood. You can leave it as a feature. Or what, what, you what, what you could have done, Scott, is you could have got the old pyrography uh, gun out and uh, done it and then drawn little worms coming out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then painted, painted them, uh, draw, uh, coloured them in. No. You know, well, like, you know, like you did with the earworm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to crackle this in the hope that it covers it up. If it doesn't, then it will meet the fire pit. <laughs> I wanted to give it one last chance. <sighs> um, so there are lots of different crackle paints out there on the market. There's stuff that you paint on, uh, different ways around doing it. I cheat. This is black because I had the black spray can out already. And all I've got is a can of Crackle Effect. Uh, it's made by Montana from Graph City Spray Paints. Oh, yeah. Now you can see that woodworm. That's yeah. actually quite nice, Scott. Yeah. So we're going to make a feature of it. It will yeah. still show through. Um, yeah. Now, what you can do is leave that to dry, and it will crackle on its own. In actual fact, <clears throat> it's starting already. Jamie's so tempted to go, what's crack-a-lacking? Crack-a-lacking. What's crack-a-lacking? <laughs> um, one thing I have found with these is if you give them a little bit of heat. Oh, yeah, look at that instant. <laughs> I want. I wonder, and don't go doing this yet. But I wonder if you heat it up to the point where you can actually have it crack away and bubble. Nah, don't do that. Nah. But yeah, uh, actually, Peter Corcoran is asking, "What about snap and pop?" <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Snap and pop. No, they're still in the packet, mate. Snap, crackle, and pop. 
So as you can see, the thicker the paint is, the bigger the crackles. Yeah. Right, John Scarborough is asking, does the crap crackle paint have to go on fresh paint or will it crackle dry paint? It'll crackle dry. It's the, actually the layer of paint you put on top that uh, the crackle happens with. Yeah. So this so it doesn't matter what you put on underneath top, then? No. No, it doesn't matter what you put underneath. It's the spray paint, the spray paint that uh, Scott put on the top is actually a crackle spray paint. No, I okay, use so I use a different I use a different effect when I'm doing crackle paint. I've, I've got the the Joe Sonia's crackle medium, which which works differently. Yeah, yeah. So let's say for argument's sake, the paint Scott put underneath was gold. It would be a white top with a in a video show gold through. It, yeah, 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 and it'll show gold through. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I have done others in the past. Um, I'm sure, there's some pictures on my Insta. So there we go. That's crackled. What I'm going to do with that now is we are going to doopy doopy doop. I don't want a sand in sealer. I want a lacquer. This is just chestnuts. Clear oh, lacquer. Not, it's not your hair lacquer then, Scott, no? No, I left, I left the old uh, hair sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're just going to give this a thin coat of this. Now, Rich hasn't got a live tonight, so we'll see how we do with time and what people are up to, whether they want me to continue. Um, but we're going to pop this one off to dry. What colours uh, can you get that crackle paint in? Um, so... Wayne, uh, it's just now, Wayne, you've got a request there from Jen to do a crackle effect with your uh, version. All right, OK. okay. Um... When will I do that? You I'll got do to do the water drop thing. first. Yeah, I'm doing the yeah, I'm doing the water drop on Saturday, and then Darren's asked for some um, little craft fair things the following right. Saturday. I might do it as a, a midweek or a Friday lunchtime. I'll write that down, mate. All right. Yeah. So, Shug, I've got them in black, green, grey, blue, and white. Nice. Okay, so we're now going to go on to Dad's bowl. <laughs> I went down to see him on Saturday, and uh, he was like, you done my bowl. Dad, I, make I know dad you're watching. The size of that bowl. <laughs> I know you're watching. Is it, is it a spittoon? <laughs> no. So Scott, this... Scott, spin that again. All right, okay. This is a piece of Papua New Guinea rosewood. Um, really nice wood to turn. Let's come back to that view. Papa, and it's come from Dad. No, <laughs> it's going to Dad. That's why I picked Papa New Guinea. Ah. Ah, right. Um, yeah, so it's a piece of Papa New Guinea rosewood. I was fortunate enough. Um, this is on the CITES list. You cannot buy it. Um, however, I know a gentleman that. Uh, Lived in Papua New Guinea. Um, was there when it sh was struck by lightning. Um, and I've got pictures of the locals. I've got the grid reference where the locals have cut it up. Pictures of it on the ground. And then he's brought it back to the UK in a trailer. Cool. Uh, yeah, because yeah, there's not many roads that you come by, is there? Nah. So oh, yes, really there are. There's loads. You can, oh, you can still get lots of different... You you can still get lots of different road woods because quite quite a few road woods are, are grown in the US. Hmm. So uh, before the live the, uh, list that you can happen. Yeah. So before I don't the live, think, I don't think they're all on the site. These list, Jennifer. Yeah. Um, before the live, I turned the outside shape, sanded it to two forty, and uh, give it a coat of sand and sealer. And Keith's just put in a uh, 
Keith's just put in the, the link there for Graph City for the spray paints. Lovely. Cheers, Keith. Smell this one. Um, we're going to use some Yorkshire grit. Hey. hey. Come on, Kaz. Not so good. You have to remind me of the word. Come on. <laughs> Jamie, you're the man with the what? words. Am I? Yorkshire grit time, yeah. It's Yorkshire grit. With yeah. hands that feel pity can be soft as your face. With light brown Yorkshire gritty. Well He's done, that man. Well so done. Much enthusiasm. Dulcet tones of uh, Jamie Page. <laughs> Voice of an angel. I've got a flu, hang on. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, do you need Vicky to rub some Vicks in, mate? Vicky uh, to rub Vicks yeah, in. Yeah, uh, stay away from me. <laughs> Probably Vicky that gave it, you mate. <laughs> One is my bloody mother. <laughs> There's so much going around at the moment. George, I'm gonna tell his... you. I'm gonna tell you. Said that. <laughs> George is on his first set of antibiotics. I did laugh the other day, though. I had a text at half past eleven yesterday. Mm. From the school to tell me that George hadn't uh, reported into school for register. Oh, that's well, jolly decent of him. Well, <laughs> he, he, he obviously didn't report for register Monday and he didn't report for register Tuesday. So why does it take until Wednesday to tell me that he ain't been there? <laughs> it does make you think, doesn't it? Oh, dear me. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Does he worry and try to look at his dad for inspiration? Please don't see that. Well, that didn't drop out of my mouth, thank God. There we go. So we've worked that in with the original cloth. I need to go to Tesco's and get some more toilet paper. Kitchen <laughs> roll, whatever it is. Yeah, I need to buy it this year. Yeah, have fun with that. They're probably sold out of that now as well. Yeah. <laughs> what, like all the idiots buying fuel? Uh, let's oh, not even yeah. go there because I'm wound up with them. <clears throat> Our petrol station finally got fuel yesterday. And yeah. uh, and the guy, yeah, and, and as they're loading the tanker, the guy from the front comes around and says to me, he said, do you want to bring yours round? He said, and you can, you can be at first in the queue. I said, yes, thank you. So I took it round and put it on, and this bloke pulled up because he obviously the co the forecourt was all combed off for the delivery, and this bloke pulled up and went, "How did you get on there?" I said, "I work round the back, mate." I said, uh, "Oh yeah, I see how it is. Then you lot get priority." I said, "No," I said, "You're welcome to come and have a look." I said, "There's only forty two miles left in the tank, mate." I said, "I haven't even attempted to put fuel in." I said, "But you know, if you want to queue up, that's up to you." And he did. He was first in the queue out there and blocked up the main road waiting to get on for fuel. I just thought, oh, my God. Yesterday in Croydon, they were queuing on the wrong side of the road. So it was... Did you see that boat that was mocking everyone while riding a horse? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that. But then the conspiracies have already started, haven't they? It's to get us to buy electric vehicles or... <laughs> Apparently, e, E10 can't be stored, so it's now to get rid of all the. E, E10 can't really be stored. You only really get a, a couple of months' shelf life on it because it does, it absorbs water and it's also slightly corrosive. So, it, so it's not right. Just that's microcrystalline. Conspiracy started. Is that conspiracy started to all buy electric cars? Yeah. <laughs> did did Dow start that rumor? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag I he's in. Get the blame for more things. <laughs> yeah. Evening key shed. He's going to make yeah. me uh, move to Fiji. He is. I'm telling you. Yeah. Dale recommends everybody buy an electric car, but it's okay because you can hashtag blame Jamie. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> so with microcrystalline, it's best to leave it probably five ten minutes for the. Spirits to evaporate, but we're not going to do that tonight. I woke up the uh, I woke up this morning from, with another message from Dale saying you're getting the blame for this as well, and he's bought a lawnmower you ride on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I got that, place, I've got that message. <laughs> I said we need to get Jamie Page to drive it around with a forest gun plate on. <laughs> you know, that'd be that'd be really really funny. <laughs> Bubba <Bobby> Gump Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually get a hat that says "Let's make Dale's garden great again." <laughs> That's gonna be the Forest Gump hat. <coughs> Bubba's mum knew all there was to know about shrimp. <laughs> shrimp curry, shrimp stew. <laughs> Okie dokes. So there is the back done. You ever made any small bowls? No, but I made some real big bowls. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can turn that into a tea light holder, Scott. So, what I've you've done. Just, you've just got time. The, the closing date's today. <laughs> what, I've, uh, what I've done here is I've marked out where the shotgun case is going to go. Now, if you want to work with these, um, I was quite fortunate. My dad does clay pigeon shooting and turned up with loads of these for me. Um, I make key rings with them on. Uh, there's a plan to do a clock with them. Um, I spent ages and ages and ages and ages trying to work out how to remove the plastic. Now, those of you who have seen the shotgun cartridge, it's got the metal end. And a big wad of plastic. I tried cutting them off. I tried drilling them off. Um, and then I watched the YouTube video. If you oh, arrest no. these on a hot baking tray for a couple of seconds, the plastic will just pull off. Nice. Sometimes you get left with a little bit of residue in there. But for this, it's not going to matter. Um, so... I've drilled some holes at 21 mil, which is the outside of these. Come out, you little swine. <laughs> um, so we've now just got to level this top up. Now, this <laughs> oh, that's a shame because the next one I was going to say, Jamie, uh, Scott, get a magnet. Get a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do now is we'll flush off the top we'll do the hollowing finish the bowl and then we'll glue in the uh the cases uh, let's go for that little bowl couch that's you just come to a quarter past here Scott. Brilliant. Hopefully, we won't be much longer. No, I think we should make Scott do another project. It's uh, Rich Ain on tonight. We're Rich yeah. Ain on, so we can finish them other ones. It's not. It's whatever people want. I'm easy. I'm going to be in the workshop anyway. Well, we know you're easy, but we're worrying, wondering whether you want to do another project. <laughs> we can finish them other ones so you can see the free. I'm not happy with that one, no. As he knew, uh, uh, Lionel Richie said, I'm easy on a Sunday morning. <laughs> he also sung Dance on the Scene, but why are you always falling over on the floor? Who <laughs> says I'm falling over? We will trouble. Let's see. At least I've got people witnessing all this abuse I get from you lot. Do you know what? <laughs> I haven't given you any abuse yet. I know. Right. <laughs> Only because we're in public. <laughs> That'll be later. <laughs> Yeah, Wayne's playing good cop, bad cop. We're the bad cops today. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you are fortunate enough to get some of this to work with, do watch your lungs. It is very, very dusty.
I think I've got a pen blank of some sort of rosewood. I can't remember what it was, to be honest. When I first started turning, I was buying wood from a local timber merchant. And I was buying Satanus rosewood. It's ridiculous money. And I was messing more about than I was turning it. Did you say Satanus or Satan's Anus? Yeah, whatever, mate. Sultana Rosewood. Oh, not my Sultana. Yeah, current affairs. Yay! I was waiting for that. Boom, boom. <laughs> right. That one's blunt. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, I got electric shock in Asda the other day. Stood on a bun and the current went up my leg. Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> I know I've got um I know I've got a couple of Coco Bolo uh, bowl blanks. I've oh, that'll be while. nice. I've had them for a while. Is that the one with the chimp on the front, Jamie? Oh no, it's sorry. Coco Pops. So is that is that the one with the chimp on the front? <laughs> no, that's Coco Pops. Sorry, mate. Close, mate. Too close to my liking. Let's bring it down. Well, 35 in at the minute, Scott. Uh, Tighty sheds in. Says, good afternoon. Oh, good evening, all. Sorry. He says, sorry, he's late. Hiya, Tighty. So did you say you're going to encapsulate the uh, the shotgun uh, tops with resin? Um, I don't know yet. Um, I might well do. Um, <coughs> not sure, or whether I'm just going to leave them natural and then I can, you know, yeah, you'll yeah, chipper yeah. it. You can use on metal. Mm -hmm. um, you can indeed. <clears throat> 
<laughs> what you, what you could do, Scott, is uh, glue them in and put a flood coat of resin over the top. Yeah. And then, and then finish off turning the inside. Oh. Peter Corcoran is asking you, Scott, do you know the diameter of the tool post on that lathe? Uh, nope. D it's, uh, uh, Dave Ode and, and Keith have... No, Dave Ode and Thanks. Keith have just answered him saying it's 16 mil. Yeah. Nice. This don't come in metric. Uh, in metric, it's only imperial. So, so if it's 5 eight, see if it's 5 eight. It's a smaller one, isn't it? Uh, five eight. Yeah, five eight. Yeah, five eight. That's sixteen mil. Keith sorted this bowl gouge out for me at the weekend to put a traditional grind on it. And then I tried turning a whole bowl like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll stick to my fingernail grind. <laughs> but for getting in the bottom of bowls. It's, it's just like using any other bowl gouge. If you have a look at the bull gouge that uh, Emma uses, that's basically a traditional grind, but she has uh, one wing that's just a little bit longer than the other, but it's a traditional grind, not a swept back. Right, lights in the way. of the big feet has said fingernail grind scares me because I gr he ground his fingernails the other day on the router wow. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to read that outline but I was too busy laughing <laughs> so, sorry Wayne it's not, it's not funny to laugh but I couldn't help it mate you got the walls of his workshop spray painted red 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 yeah <laughs> Pillar box red. Oh no, Wayne. Wayne of the big feet is red. Yeah. <coughs> right. So get for trying to get in there. More like Wayne of the big red feet is by the time it finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Sort out the extractor. James Cassidy's in. Hi, James. Hi, James. The walls were red and the air was blue. Yeah. From his swearing. <laughs> I really must sort this extraction out. You'll take out the pencils, mate. <laughs> no, I need to take out the uh, reducer. So I have it four inch all the way to the extractor rather than reduce it down to 50, uh, 63. Like a blustery doubt. Uh, James Cassidy's in. He said, just switched over from Chris Parker with Conkless to Sarah to see what Scott is up to. Hello, everyone. Hi, uh, James.
Rich is in. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. It's also quite oily as well, this wood. One twenty, one And then we'll go two forty. Oh no, one hundred and eighty. I've just done one eighty. <laughs> <laughs> and for his special prize, <laughs> it's a speedboat. But I don't want a te speedboat. I want a tease mate. <laughs> Uh, Richard just, just letting let everybody know. Well, no way. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Scott, you got a right fake drilly on that, by the way. <laughs> fake drilly. <laughs> yeah, it's an it's an imitation. All right. Hey, John Scarborough's having to go. He says he'll catch up with it later. See Take you later, John. John. Thank you, John. Thank you. It's looking good now, Scott. It is. I'm just going to get a Hoover. Hoover all those bits out. Look at Scott with his posh brush hoover. Mm -mm -mm. That's, a, that's a sucky brushy, that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Henry brushy. It's from uh, it's from Greek mythology. It's a sucky brush. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not an inky brush, a sucky brush. I knew there was something else I wanted in town today. Inky brush, that was a film, wasn't it? <laughs> You're thinking of kinky boots, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nancy Sinatra. That's just methylated spirits, just to clear out the grain. Or as I say in America, denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol. Uh, <laughs> Jason's asking if you, if you got the hoover from Brian. Nah. <laughs> I bought my good lady a new one. So I had the old one. It's the same as all the heads. My good lady is addicted to cleaning. Um, so we will go through a Henry Hoover head probably once every two or three months. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So every time she has a new head, I keep the other one for in here. <laughs> I'm not even going there. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Sorry, Feet out the trough, you is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Just coming up to an hour. 
Is everyone bored yet, or does everyone want me to carry on? The beer says, have you tried lemon juice, Scott? It's supposed to be good. What, for cleaning? <laughs> or a free lead situation? Yeah. <laughs> for the windows, Scott. For the windows. <laughs> it might stop him from licking them. <laughs> I'm going to start on that. It's good for taking stuff off the window, Scott. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> He don't use the windows, he uses Venetian blinds. He's posh. <laughs> Peter Corrigan says, found cotton and says lemon juice was horrible. They're saying he's not telling us about him and Fern Cotton. Hey, hey, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say he's lucky boy. Shut that door. Yeah, a nice bit of shine on that. Mm -hmm. Now I've just sped it up on the rim, obviously because of all those holes. I don't want to be catching my finger in one of them. Is it like? Did you hear that, Jamie? I'm saying nothing. It's just, just polishing the rim with his finger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all I can say is it's a good job Di's not here. <laughs> With the ideas he's been having just lately. <laughs> Are we at nine o'clock yet? <laughs> we passed the watershed. Uh, oh, quite. No, well, I just wonder if we got hit yet. <laughs> yeah, somewhere else you'll not be anyway. Chestnuts microcrystalline again. That grain's gorgeous. I like that. Stunning grain, isn't it? Mm. Give the outside another little bit as we're doing it. I've um, I've got another bit of this that I'm thinking about possibly doing one of those sloping bowls. <coughs> Taking a bit off it, like Wayne suggested. Mm. But I've got to look at because the blank's got because of the bit that's missing out of the blank. I've got to turn it a set way, and I don't know what I'm going to be left with. But we shall see. Oh, I know what I meant to say. The other thing is, uh, guys and girls, is uh, in the description is a link to my Made Me UK store, which is a bit like Etsy. Um, as of midnight, it won't be active. Um, last year, they charged £25. This year, they won £83. Wow. Whoa! So, you know, what they, you know what they can do with their online store. Yeah. Web hosting don't cost that much. Um, Court made me, but by the sounds of it, it'll break you. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. a terrible increase, that is. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
set my Etsy back up. Um, I'm going to set my Etsy back up, and uh, I'll just use Etsy, but not list as much as what I've got on. Made me. All right, let's swap that over. Uh, Rich said he's got a uh, ten percent battery. He's got to go. Okay, oh, okay, you catch you later, Rich. <laughs> so all I'm going to use to stick these in is clear gorilla glue um, that's it's slightly proud now i've taken too much off take him over to the pro edge yeah yeah skim a bit off the bottom skim a bit off the bottom the pro edge is right by the lathe so Don't hold it with your hands, they're probably going to get hot pretty good quick. Hell yes. Huey's going to love it. Metal work on the woodwork channel. You can't beat it. <laughs> and now, from Horsham, it's the ball of the week. Diddly, 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 diddly. I bet you can't remember that, can you, JB? Nope. <laughs> Give it a twist, it'll be fine. Go on, lob it in. Ram it in. <laughs> I can't <laughs> give you any more, Captain. I can't do it, Captain. I just do it. I the powers of physics. <laughs> that one? That one's all right. That is right in it. Italy, whatever. So my um, OCD, I had to pick out different coloured tops, but now they've got to go in in the correct sequence. Right to left. No, so one says Italy and the other one says Chadu or something. So it's, they're going... I'll clean that off later. Oh, Scott, I can't see it from my house either. <coughs> well, I can see it from my house, but once it goes to my dad's house, I won't, will I? Willie Pond's in the chat. Hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. Hi. Willie. Hi. So what other projects you got planned, Kiss? Me? Um, and are we um, going to see any more lives from you? Yes, because you're going to be on the Virtual Craft Festival. We. Oh, yeah. Say again? I said you're going to be on the Virtual Craft Festival. I said, didn't I tell you? No. <laughs> yes, so you're on the Virtual Craft Festival. Consider this your formal notice. <laughs> That's the one. So that will, uh, the virtual craft festival date's been set for the twentieth of November. Okay. There you go. There awesome. You go. Right. Um, I've got some filming to do, and I can't remember which. Uh, the seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth. I think that one is. Or it's going to be the twenty. First, I think twenty second and twenty third. So I should yeah, I should miss that one. So yes, the twentieth will be fine. Hey. Good, good, good. Yeah, I was just trying to recall the dates that I was given earlier for recording. <laughs> so um, yeah um, 
I don't really know. I, oh well, I didn't know till just I was just, I was on it. But I say I find something to. Uh... So Christmassy. Yeah, yeah. Or Halloweeny. Oh, I just well, Halloween. Halloween. Halloween's gonna go on, Bonnie. Halloween's gonna, gonna have been a gun, mate. Yeah. Don't matter. Right. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Clean my hands. Looking good, Scott. And we'll pop that one to one side in a minute. It's just going to... Does that have a big blob of glue? Yep, it's just there, Scott. Just there. <laughs> 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 Not shiny right. bit on your head. <laughs> that, that that shiny bit on my head is famous, man. Channel four. <laughs> right. Let's go for which one's dry. Let's do the crackle. Let's give that one a quick coat of. Well, it's a snap, crackle, and pop one, isn't it? It is snap, crackle, and pop. We don't want don't it to go it, pop, though. Don't give it to die, though, because die will eat his uh, cereal out of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> where have I just put that? Who's in the will to live tonight? There is. I'm just going to give the other one a quick coat of lacquer just before we put it on the lathe. That can be drying while we're um there's not a lot of finishing to do on that one. Okay. So uh, this is snap crack and pop. <laughs> you can still see where the worm is, but it's sort of hidden it where it's in the mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be overly worried about that, mate. Just Look adds to it, doesn't it? Yeah. The moon. the moon. Yeah. And we saw the whole of the moon. Got stole the moon. These two woods are like chalk and cheese. That hardwood's really hard. <laughs> and this is just, yeah. I want some accent lines on it, guys, or do you reckon like that? No, I'd just leave it. Yeah, yeah it looks good. It's, as nice it is. Of, it's a nice bit of wood. Shame about the worm, though. Yeah, which one, me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shame about the earworm. Yeah, this earworm is perfect. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I've got scraper envy again. <laughs> right, Stuart Ingreal's just come in and he's saying, Whoa, oh, just turned up. That looks awesome. How the heck did he do that? Well, Stuart, it's 
it's a base layer of black spray paint and then a couple of layers of white i think it was white one scott yes mate it's white white it. white spray on crackle paint so a crackle effect from montana um it comes or i've got it in white blue green gray black You're right, it does look like the moon. It does look like the moon. I'm just going to crisp these edges up. I just noticed there's a, um, a little bit of worm here. Just wonder if I can. Just a wee worm. Get rid of it. Have we seen Brian West in the chat tonight? Nope. Nope. No, mate. No. Unless he's watching and not commenting. But I got a really cool parcel from Brian this morning. Um, I'm going to show it at the end because I love it. Um, but Brian has been doing a lot of uh, German smokers like Colwyn Way does. Oh, yeah. So he did a nurse one for his friend that's a nurse. Um I think it's another one. And this morning, a paramedic German smoker arrived. So thank mm -hmm. you very much. Excellent. I did go in the, uh, the smelly shop this morning, but Mrs. went, mm, don't burn anything in there, you'll ruin it. <laughs> so it's going to go in the maker's cabinet. Cool. All right, where is that? I've actually got quite a good finish there. I'm going to strain my 120. Speed right down. Unplug the hoover, plug in the drill. Anyone know a Sparky? Ain't got enough, no, mate. Uh, ain't got enough sockets by my lathe. <laughs> Scott, just chuck some up there, but whatever you do, just don't use that level on the uh, conduit. <laughs> I've got a new level for Wendy's, mate. One that's 1.8 meters long. Cool. So. Cheers, Stuart. says yeah the bubble's still not in the middle or level uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. so you've all seen how i normally get rid of my dust after i finished um with the methylated spirits because this has got spray paint on it i don't want to use that so what i'm going to use um is a tack cloth yeah it's all right You can get these at any good um, decorating stores. Um, Chestnut products, which is where this one. And from. some crap ones as well. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> don't. don't <laughs> on them. Cheers, Stuart. Mm -hmm. um, and because it's spray paint. 
I'm going to use an acrylic um, sand and sealer just there in the middle. While we're waiting for that, I'm just going to have a quick swig of coffee. Nicely cold. <laughs> Turning American now. Uh, cold coffee. Oh, no. I always drink cold coffee. Oh, no. Not a fan. <laughs> no. No, not a fan of that either. Cold beer, now that's a different matter. If you buy me a coffee chug, then I'll um, I'll go and get a warm one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, might buy, did, yeah. I, might, I might buy you a coffee, Scott. I might buy you a coffee. I might make you come up here to fetch it, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I looked at um, St. on Marketplace last night. I was like, Coventry, I know a man that lives up there. Yeah, I know a bloke who lives there. <coughs> then I found okay, one. He's Kyle and Black Label. <laughs> this is just Yorkshire grit again. Bit of Yorkshire grit because Scott's hands are all pity. <laughs> the wood dude's in. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. How you doing? Hi, wood dude. He wants to know why we're not watching Chris Parker on the chestnut live stream. Because uh, we're watching yeah. Scott on here. Because yeah. we're watching <laughs> Scott on the blue light turner. Oh, no, we can't. Cool. I can't watch myself. <laughs> More to the point, why isn't Chris Parker watching Scott? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who called this the Moon Bowl? Me. Uh, I think we're going to stick with that name, Kez. Cool. Can I buy it? <laughs> no, I'll send it to you. If you want it, I'll send it to you. Can I buy it? I don't mind buying it. No, I will send it to you. I've got a seven-year-old that is obsessed with the moon. Ah. Absolutely obsolete. Moon. Yeah. It can have it then. Remember that button moon. What you need, Kez, is one of my water drop balls because that looks like moon creators as well. Yes, I've I've seen that, Dawn. It was the video that you posted in the chat. Um, yeah, I'm week. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, you, you, that, could well, a, you could do a black and grey one, black, white, and grey one, Wayne. Um, Country Wood Girl. Um, yeah. Got the idea from me, um, and I'm doing another one on Saturday night. Yes. They are awesome, awesome Wayne. They are, absolutely. I've not seen that done before. Yeah. Well, the, the, see, pe the people say that. It's a technique that's been out since the 70s. Yeah, I can imagine it has. It, it's because it, 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 it used to get done on uh, motorbike petrol tanks. Yes. And things like that. Yeah. Before flames and stuff took over. <laughs> <laughs> and skulls. Yeah. Uh, everything's schools now, isn't it? Copping shakes. Oh, my bikes didn't need a petrol tank because you can't get no petrol. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear me. Right, let's give this one a buff up. His point is having a broken petrol gauge as well because he can't get fuel. Yeah. <laughs> See what you did there, Jamie. <laughs> it's been a while since I've rode a bike. Mm. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> Not talking push bikes, Jamie. Oh dear me! <laughs> that's not, that's what I'm talking about. It's been a while since I've rode a bike as well. Last, I, 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 got severely, I got severely injured last time I rode a bike. <laughs> Busted my face right open. Oh, yeah, right. we can tell. I know. <laughs> like big deal, like. No. So there we no. go. The moon bowl. Moonball. Yes, really very nice. That is awesome. That will wing its one, way one, up. One, one of the many scars, anyway, on my face. On my face. Right. I thought it would have been. Sorry, mate. 
No. <laughs> no. That's just part of the field that I haven't brushed off. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I've got to be careful of on this one is when I turned it before, down here, <laughs> ain't a lot quite there. thin. Oh, dear. And we don't want it to become... So there'll be there'll be roses and butterflies and full of web spiders. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funnel, I'll just put a spider in there. Right, tourists, that's what I want. But that hasn't dried too bad, I don't think. That's oh, great. I like it. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I really like them roses. Really, really do like them roses. The roses look really good on the on on the black as well. It's yeah, really cool. uh, it's it's. It's given me a little idea, so I'm gonna have a, have a You know why I had to do roses? Shug. Go on. Because you don't bring me flowers. No. No, not anymore. And he painted <laughs> a rose on a pole. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's I think I need air bleach now. <laughs> Scott, if you're scared of going down to the bottom of the bowl, just on the the inner rim where you're going to start yeah. turning, just put a small curve. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to put a little accent thing on the edge there because it's still got the remainder of the other one. Either that or the or the the inner edge of the bowl. Just use the pot until to put a just a wee thing in there, just as far down to get rid of the, the black paint that's on the inside. Yeah, I did try ta uh, taping it, but it's leached. What what about Scott? If you put like, uh, as if he was doing like a lidded pot, and then you can go off uh, another day and then put like a domed top to it to make it like a box. Yeah. So that means you haven't got to touch it at all, then. No, you can make a finial. Then, then, then what you can do is you can make a finial and cut out a butterfly, and that can be the finial. Ooh, oh, James getting all artistic on you now. Yeah. Or oh, I could scroll That's a what butterfly. I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Awesome. That's what, yeah. yeah. Mike Hughes. Says, I think that'd look quite question, cool. Is that planter running true? Platter running true, sorry. Well it looks true to me. It is now, yeah. I think it's just because yeah, the paint on the inside is paint a bit. On the inside, yeah. Yeah. Right, pint tool. I reckon I could probably sand that bit out and get away with it. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that'd be good. Out. Yeah. I'm just going to use the tip of the skew on its side as a scraper just to crisp that up. Yeah, then you can put some, uh, put some flowers and some butterflies on the black lid as well and uh, butterflies uh, finial have, have you ever seen me turn a finial Jamie no, I cut a finial on the scroll saw ah. yeah So you can have, you know, have, have, a, uh, have a black lid and then a white, uh, a plain wood finial. So that means it's uh, all different uh, black and wood colour then. Mm. <sighs> Look at that. Fuck off. Uh, 
Uh, sand and sea law. Just gone nine o'clock, Scott. Okie dokies, well, we'll sand and seal this. I don't think I'm going to Yorkshire grit this one, but we'll sand and seal it. <gasps> Kez was just about ready to sing then, because I gave her the lyrics last time. <laughs> you just get ready. I'll save her, I'll save her. <laughs> she was just about to go. Scott's hands that feel pretty. <laughs> we have to get her in the chat now because Phil's been sitting here waiting patiently. <laughs> <laughs> right, speed right down. And I'm just going to lacquer this bowl. Into my bedways again later. Jason Leveron says, in the words of uh, Onslow, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bucket, it's bouquet. That's Scott's <laughs> favourite biscuit. Nice. <laughs> no, they're wrong. He likes Jaffa. Yeah, but I like Jaffa cakes, but I wouldn't say they're a biscuit. Um, <laughs> No. Let's not start this comes, debate. When it comes to biscuits, it's got to be custard creams. This week on no, Master Beauty or Buns. Yeah, Jammy Dodgers or or Buns. Let or, me know, and that's, that's my nickname from Claire Mason. Like Jammy Dodger. Jammy Dodger. Yeah, she, she calls me Jammy. <laughs> or, Shug, do you know what's coming, mate? Go on. Look. <laughs> The Christmas no, shortbread. Shortbread. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scott, we're in September. No, in. We're in September. Yeah? Hey, you know what? I think you're Vicky's being sort. in. I think you're being sought, Jamie. Vicky's in. I know. Start talking <laughs> about biscuits and she's in. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> right, that should be dry enough to handle. Ginger nuts don't, says Andy H. <laughs> oh, not sure on that. I like ginger nuts, but I don't like to dunk them. Yeah, wind, wind of the big feet has said, buy in shortbread. Who does that? Um, I have to try and Valerie's, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit harsh. <laughs> Jamie, I think you're going to be in trouble, mate. I think Jamie's going to get absolutely yeah. pummeled. Right. <laughs> Here we go. That's me. So, we have the Butterfly and Rose Bowl. Yeah, I like which that. Isn't, which, isn't, which isn't finished. No, which <laughs> isn't finished. I'll make a lid for it. <laughs> Just to keep <laughs> Jamie happy. <laughs> we have the Moon Bowl. Yeah, like that. Nice. In actual fact, with the different colours in the sport in there, it looks like a yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, I don't know why these are set yet. And then we've got Dad's Bowl. Hey. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There we go. Um, some simple so well it's like the beach. So like the beach Let's is covered in shells. <laughs> Let's bring these guys back in. Here we go. So, thank you everyone that has joined me this evening. Um, I've had a laugh. I hope you guys have had a laugh and a bit of fun. Um, that's what my first nights are about. Come in, share it from friends, do some turning, and have a chuckle along the way. So, next week, um, as I said, is going to be. These are super, super cool. I'm going to show them now because I really like these. Um, <laughs> The colours in these. They remind me, you know, like you get the sand bottles where you get the different coloured sands. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It reminds me of that. So there's some super cool blanks. We're gonna make some pens out of them next week. 
Good, um, good. Thank you, Jennifer, for them. Um, what we've got on? So, tomorrow lunchtime. You, Wayne? Yeah, me. What time? You on, Wayne? One o'clock. Okay, brilliant. Um, and then tomorrow evening it'll be Steve, uh, SK, Stace. Um, Saturday is Wayne in the evening. Yeah, I don't, I, don't know know if, I, I, I don't know if Robbo's doing another tutorial Saturday morning. Not sure. Yeah, or Ed or I haven't seen like haven't seen notific notification. Oh, Ed hasn't um, done anything for months. Uh, and I think I don't know who's on Sunday. Sunday lunchtime would be Steve SK. Yeah, yeah. And then have you Wayne, got premiere Wayne's in the called, evening, Wayne? Uh, Wayne I'll is. have a premiere. Yeah, Mike Waltz will be on live at half past seven. Um, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie will have a premiere at eleven. Jake, Jake's got something on. Um, I'm not sure if it's. Oh, uh, Jake's got a Jake's got a Saturday. Uh, Jake's got a Saturday uh, Saturday morning cartoons, which is our afternoon slope evening, uh, four o'clock our time. Um, no, over, in, over on Jake, Jake's yeah. channel, he normally does a giveaway over there. So, if he gets to a hundred viewers, then he normally gives away a little extra sum sum over there. So, I feel left out, so I'll probably have a premiere next year. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do, Shug, is you need to go live, to make money official or something. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, right. I, don't, I don't think people would appreciate about 16 hours of messing around. More you, you never know. <laughs> never know. Thank you guys for, and girls for earworming for me. I am going to hit the button. Um, my coffee cup's empty. And I shall catch you all soon. Oh, Ru yeah. Ruben's got premiere tomorrow. Oh, Ruben's got premiere tomorrow as well. Yeah. See you later. Oh.